it's with uh, regard and respect that we mark the passing of John McCain. Fighter pilot, senator, statesman, guy who cared a lot about the country. Since the passing of Senator John McCain, many have called him an American hero and a true patriot. No one knows that better than Air Force Major General John Borling, who built a lasting friendship with McCain after they were both imprisoned at Hanoi Hilton during the Vietnam War. We became, uh, as we all did, uh, bands of brothers, and that relationship endured throughout the years. Borling spent six and a half years as a prisoner of war. He wrote and memorized poems to keep his and other soldiers' minds sharp and spirits up. One of those soldiers was McCain. Decades after the release, McCain was one of the few motivating Borling to publish the poems that helped them survive. And I asked John, I said, look, this, uh, this book that we've been talking about, I said, needs a foreword. Why don't you volunteer to write the foreword? And he said, okay. Borling says his favorite part of the Taps on the Walls poems from the Hanoi Hilton's foreword are the first few lines, where McCain says the greatest honor of his life was to serve in the company of heroes. In captivity in Vietnam, we fought every day to keep our honor intact our minds sharp and bodies functional. Borling says because they were able to survive, it was important for McCain to come back to the U.S. and strive to make his country a better place. The guys who went through so much together uh, determined that uh, we would try to leave footprints uh, for the betterment of the country. John left some awfully big footprints. Major General Borling was released on February 1973 from Hanoi, and Senator McCain was released just a month later in March. Mimi? Karina, thanks for that report.